Hello everyone, it's Adam here. In this video, we are going to install the Alt Rider heel guards on the left and the right sides. This is kind of a combo two-in-one video. We're going to start here with a T30 and remove the OEM guards. You know, Alt Rider started discounting these guys, these, these things quite a bit because the newer GS models, the regular GS, the Rally, and the Adventure, all come with heel guards. Um, but they're plastic, so the uh, Alt Rider ones are a uh, cut aluminum British built aluminum one piece um, and I got these as a package deal from a guy so they're not necessarily expensive to me so if you can find a set used it's not really a dumb thing to do but uh, again it just adds more weight to the bike but it also is a little harder hardier than the plastic so what we're doing now is we're just removing the stock guards by the way for this installation Alt Rider actually does recommend uh, using thread locker on these uh, on these guards. Let's zoom in a bit for you guys to make it easier to see. There we go. So it's going to go right here, just like this. Uh, we use spacers on the rear and then use flat uh, um, bolts for the front, flathead bolts at the front. So let's go ahead and apply our thread locker here. Yeah, don't tighten these things down because you do have to get back here to get the other washer under there. And we've got the right head size to uh, get this done. These things look nice. It looks, it's much thinner than the OEM plastic. Uh, it's actually a little bit lighter and they look really, really nice. Uh, what's great about these versus the OEM, uh, other than what I just mentioned here, is the, um, the way they, they kind of curve in to the bike. So let's uh, let's pull out here. So you see this curvature right there. This actually comes inward, so it's backwards further. Whereas these were pretty much just a flat shot. So you can see here where all the the boot rubbing has started on this on this from me just riding this bike 3,000 miles. Um, and as always, it's nice to end this and have some um, some free T30 bolts that you should absolutely hang on to. Keep these together into a, in a bag so you can uh, take this back to stock when you're done. Pretty solid. I'm not going to over tighten in. Let that thread locker do its job, and uh, give it about 10 pound feet right there. Yeah, that looks great. That looks really nice, actually. Let's do the other side now. All right, same thing as before. Get your T30 out, and uh, take these two bolts out. And they were not in. And it, they did not, uh, they were not that difficult to get out. These are fairly uh, loosely tightened. All right, so this side actually has a nice little A on there. Same thing applies, it kind of comes backwards towards the final drive. Looks really nice though. It's much lighter than the uh, plastic piece that came stock. Obviously much harder, no bending here. Uh, which, you know, bending can be good. Bending won't put pressure on these, uh, on the center frame here where these bolts connect in. Where the plastic gives a bit, it's actually kind of nice, but um, this will be a nice addition, so let's uh, put some thread locker on these two uh, 25 bolts and uh, install. Again, not trying to win a marathon here with with force. Just want to give it enough to uh, let that lock tight do its job. And there you have it. Alright guys, thanks for watching.